Mm -hmm. Dude. Okay. Well, five days, five days of cold water. Yeah. That is quite the task. Yeah. Especially this time. It was harder because it's winter and we were cooped up in this apartment. Yeah. We watched a lot of Christmas specials and. Hallmark Channel was on all the time. And a lot of sleeping because you feel so tired and so fatigued that you really don't have the energy. Mm -hmm. You barely even get up to pee, you know, and, and hydrate yourself with water. I had a lot of acid. I mean, I'm still, we're now, we just broke the fast, fast with a kombucha drink. It's a cleansing probiotic <clears throat> to, to fill in the the floral gut with probiotics, good, you know, good, um, good bacteria. To get our digestive system to start up again. Right. And, right. and plus having, you know, you've got in your gut, you could have bad flora or good flora. So with a probiotic, the good flora goes in and it helps with digestion and, and all that good stuff. And now we're having a uh, vegetable juice with a oh, mango cheers. and orange. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> with, um, Manzer, no, is it orange and mango along with vegetable juice? And when you're restarting to eat, you don't want to spike up your sugar too fast because that could be very detrimental to your health. You could go into a, a shock, you know, from not having any food, sugars, or anything. So by adding the vegetable juice with the fruit juice, it balances out, you know. My body was so tired during this fast, more so than any other fast I've ever been on. And we've gone longer. We, we did nine days this um, New Year's, last thing. Yeah, nine days. But we were in the <clears> sun. <throat> we drank a lot of coconut water. I mean, that also made Did we? Good. Yeah, I mean, we drank coconut water, which makes a difference because it, the coconut water has something in it that kind of, yeah, this is And we were living in Fort Lauderdale, so we went out and got in the sun and went out to a park or something, relaxed and enjoy ourselves. It was, it was really cool, you know, just to be able to reset the body. Cause now we know we have basically kind of done an oil change. To our yeah, lives. big time, big time oil change. And it's like hitting the reset button. You know, everybody should fast. Maybe they can't all do it for five days, or you can start off with one day, you know, or two days, and three days, and slowly build yourself up. We do a lot of intermittent fasting on a daily basis. We we feed for 12 hours, and we don't feed for 12. So it, it's called intermittent fasting, which is very good for release of growth hormone to get your metabolism working. I went from 124 pounds, hard build the muscle that I was, because I was training like a, a fiend. You were lifting I was lifting a lot heavy, towards heavy. him there. Today when we brought the groceries back <clears> and I tried, because I'm always trying to lift the heavier stuff, you know, and that's, that's what I do. And I almost freaking died out of shit. And my heart was like racing, because, you know, I lost 10 pounds. I'm now weighing 114 pounds from 124. And I lost a lot of Five days now. Five days fast. Fast. Two pounds a day, and I I didn't <clears throat> lose muscle. Actually, I went. Um, what was it? It was forty three point something. Forty five to, to forty five point something. So I gained muscle percentage, and my body fat went from a hundred uh, from fourteen point seven to ten point seven. So I lost a lot of body fat. So you know, it it's good to know we've got this. Thing you talk about it that our scale uh, yeah, our yeah scale. we got a new scale from <clears throat> from CVS it was really cool it does everything it does your weight it does your muscle percentage it does your body water um, percentage it does it bone does mass, mass yeah. it does BMI and B BMR, basal metabolic, metabolic. Rate, which is the amount of calories your body needs while at rest. <clears throat> so yeah, good stuff. And you lost. You went from one fifty four. Yeah, it was one fifty four point four, and I dropped down to one forty eight 
146. 146. Point eight. Yeah. yeah. So. And she had yeah. already dropped. Yeah. Because uh, I had been cutting her food down because she wanted to lose some weight. Um, I was 162 about two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. And then, and the fastest started at 154. So in total, you've lost like, what, 18 pounds? Yeah. Almost 20 pounds. In three weeks. Yeah, I know how to do this kind of stuff. And it's a good loss of weight. It's like, I didn't lose muscle to lose weight. Exactly. It's just the fat. Fat that you don't need because the fat is where all the, all the toxins hang around. But it's been... It's, it really has been hard, you know. Just I, relaxing. Yeah. It's just been... Yeah, it's been hard. Yeah. But it's good. It's all good. I mean, I'm it's, glad it's, it's over. Yeah, me too. But I'm glad we did it because it's, you know, now it's like once you cleanse, then you go into the rebuild phase. I plan to put on, I'd like to get up to 135 pounds of muscle, natural, because we're both um, natural. I mean, she's on herbal uh, estro estrogen supplementation, you know saw palmetto to decrease the um, excess amount of androgen. She's also on, uh, what's it called? Fenugreek. 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 And on, what's that other one? Red Clover. Red Clover. And doing your breast pumps and all yeah. that. And I'm, I'm not going to do DHEA again because that's the one that sent me in such a crazy high That's not pressure. herbal though, is it? No, it's DHEA a drug? is not. Well, it, they sell over the counter. It's like in the <coughs> vitamin section, but DHEA is, is a hormone that your body produces in your adrenal gland. You take DHEA supplements. <clears throat> when your adrenal gland is producing less DHEA as you age, it decreases the amount your body puts out. So I figured, let me take five milligram, which is the lowest milligram you can take. My body didn't like it because that's why I started getting anxious and, and my blood pressure started going up. Um, so I'm taking, I'm going to be taking the Soma and we won't do it today. We might start tomorrow, you know, once we get a little more food in our system. And, uh, and then I bought Hawthorne Berry, which is fabulous to keep your blood pressure down and keep your pulse regulated. It helps with your arterial health. You know, people with chronic uh, pulmonary disorders take it or see a, um, chronic heart failure and stuff like that. And it's supposed to really be good. I take, I took it for the longest time when I was on testosterone and that kept my blood pressure down because I didn't want to go on blood pressure medication. We were watching this guy. He did a documentary on health and losing weight and stuff and he went on a water fast. And it was, he did it for supposedly, and I don't believe this because we did five days. He did 55 days. He weighed like 315 pounds and dropped down to 271. Which is nothing. He lost 40 pounds or something. Right, on a 55 day, <clears throat> I figure he should have lost at least 80 pounds. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. You know, shit. Excuse me, pardon, <laughs> pardon the French, but... Yeah. Um, 10 pounds in five days... And I wasn't overweight. I was only 124. You figure people when, that are overweight. Yeah, when you're overweight, you, you lose, lose it faster. faster. Yeah. And uh, so I think that guy was lying. I think his he was name, cheating. His name, well, the, the documentary is on Amazon called Facing the Fat. And he was like running, <laughs> playing, playing tennis. tennis at 14 days. Yeah, I'm like. I mean, climbing stairs at. 30 days. I couldn't get out of bed to go to the bathroom without my head going like this and going holding on to things and felt like I was going to fall out. True North Clinic, Dr. Michael Greger, who runs it there, he recommends that if people are like there for like four or five days, uh -huh. that they shouldn't leave the grounds because basically they're vertically challenged. They, yeah. could, they could fall, fall over because, you know, I mean, they don't want you to shower. You know, because you can fall in the shower. Because you can fall. Because you, you do teeth. get weak. Oh, very you do weak. get weak. Yeah, especially in your body. You know, you, your your um, energy comes from ketosis, which means that your body starts to use up your store fat for energy, which we didn't get into ketosis until yesterday. That's when we really got into ketosis. Yeah, because I dropped from one fifty three. 
yeah. down to 148. Yeah, that's when you could tell that the body was You could tell that it was starting to work. And we out. weren't exerting any any type of no. exertion of any sort. We were just laying in bed, literally, for the past. Literally. Literally. Laying in bed. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, just, just drinking water, going to the bathroom, <laughs> and watching TV. That's how it was. And but, that mentally gets a little stimulating, like boring yeah. in a way. There's only so many Hallmark Christian Christmas movies you can watch, you know, yeah. before it's like, okay. And and it ends happily ever after. Um, yeah. yeah, I miss know. the gym. I miss our dancing because we dance every night and we do it as part of our aerobic. I missed just... I missed sex. Sex, that too. We couldn't have any sex. I figured. Oh, so tired. Man. It's like he he came over to kiss me. And it morning, was like such a. It was like. Uh, yeah, it was. I was like, you're just tired, moving in aren't bed. you? Just moving in bed was a struggle. Just getting dressed. Out this morning. To go get our stuff, our food. Yeah, that was. We a bought production. a bunch of really cool food though. A bunch of uh, like what's greens, your plan? Shop was it shop? Bok choy. Bok choy, carrots, green peppers, romaine zucchini, lettuce. romaine lettuce, and um, that other kind of lettuce. We bought dandelion, because that's very good as well. I mean, potatoes, tomatoes. I'm going to make a big soup tomorrow, because today we're just going to be doing juices and fruits. Because you don't want, once your digestive system stops working, you don't want to freak it out. You want to slowly refeed your body so that you know, everything starts working fine or else the fast is useless because then you end up getting making yourself sick. So tomorrow I'll make the soup, but today it'll just be juices and fruit, you know, and then a little green. So, um, and then tomorrow, you know, I'll we'll start off the morning with, with fruit, you know, continue the fruit and whatever, and then in the evening time, the... We got some really good coffee. Oh my God, yes. It smells awesome. really good. I mean, it's, it's organic. Like, How is it to make? <clears throat> oh gosh. Uh, uh, some sort of a medium roast. Breakf medium breakfast uh, blend with uh, sweet aroma, caramel, like caramel um, whatever it was, natural. And it was on special. It was like thirteen ninety nine a pound. It went. It was on special for eight ninety nine a pound. So. And it smells to die for. We bought it at the local co-op, and it's all organic and natural. Everything we do is organic and natural. Everything. Everything. Pay a little bit more, but you know you're getting really quality food. And your health is worth it. Yeah. You definitely. know. Definitely, it is. We said we're like <clears throat> walking around, like still, like. Uh, yeah. I know we're trying to get our food to just reinvigorate us and stuff and you know Jews. this is helping yeah but it's, it's like, helping you got it slowly you know you got to slowly in a little in a little while we'll open up an orange and have that but for right now you know just just the this um vegetable juice had a lot of pulp in it you could taste it when i started pouring you could see it it's thick i was uh i was dreaming of a big Ripe, juicy orange. Yeah, why well, don't you get that in a little bit? <sighs> and eating it. I was hoping for watermelon, but they didn't have any. I think over the holidays, you know, they the store looked pretty empty today. Yeah, they didn't have any yeah, deliveries they, yeah. or, you know. Yeah, cause it was Christmas know. yesterday, yeah. so. Yeah, so they couldn't probably, they're probably like. Probably on holiday, yeah. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I asked them if they had grapes, and they was like, we don't get any deliveries till like a couple of days from now. Yeah. So. No. But, but we got what we needed for breaking the fast, and it's, it'll be good. Honey crisp apples, Fuji apples, yeah. um, some bosque. No, what kind of pears? Tea. Oh, I don't know. Some bosque. Bosque pear, pears. Pear, yeah. Pears, yeah. And. Uh, <sighs> I'm we glad. Didn't, we I'm didn't glad get the so. pear. We didn't get the pears because we said they weren't ready. And it wasn't oh, yeah, tomorrow, they so weren't yeah. ready. That's right. We got banana because even though banana is harder to digest, you know, like tomorrow for breakfast, I could make like a little banana porridge hmm. and um, blender there, a little bit of cinnamon, 
So and we got some really cool ideas uh, for vegan cheese. Jeez, I know that crazy. I'm sitting yeah. there in bed. I'm like looking at all these recipes because I'm like, okay, I can't eat, but I go look at food. Don't. And my stomach was so hungry for the first time that I've ever fasted. This is the time that I've experienced the most hunger. It never stopped. Usually yeah. when I fast on the third day, my appetite. This morning wasn't that bad. When I woke up this morning, I wasn't as hungry. But yesterday and the other days, I was like, oh, <sighs> yeah. I was, I was hungry pretty much the whole time, but I just kind of put it in well, the back yeah, of my mind. You have to. You, you know. have to. But yesterday, yeah, I was right. dreaming about that orange yeah. all day. All day. It was like, please. <sighs> well, the good thing is that, I, that we couldn't break the fast yesterday because it was a holiday and everything was closed. So it, it fell out. A good way because if there was a store open, we would have probably. I thought I didn't have the energy yesterday. I didn't have the energy either. The energy. You had something going on in your liver. Oh my God! You know when the body starts to detox and my liver was detoxing. What the liver does is it takes all that acid from the acidosis and all the toxins that you have, and it dumps it into your stomach because the stomach can handle acid. That's the only place you can really dump it. And I've been. This morning wasn't bad. This morning I didn't wake up, as, but for the entire time, not only being hungry, I, ha I felt like I had like a whole stuff of acid in my stomach. It was just like, I kept kept coming up and coming up. So my liver, I know, got a massive cleanse this time around. And I think maybe that's why we're so tired. Because I think since when you fast often, every time you, you create a new fast, the body goes in deeper and deeper in the cleansing and the healing. And I mean, I felt old injuries, like old fractures in my toe, um, my gums. I felt that like I started off, remember when I had a little gum thing going on? Yeah. Gone, you know, so it healed that. Um, my blood pressure got way better, you know. Um, I noticed that when I get dehydrated, my blood pressure goes up. And when I get upset, my blood pressure goes up. But when I'm calm and cool, I mean, it's, it was down to 107 over 70 something this morning. And my pulse got, as low as 61. Oh, wow. So that's, that said I had to accomplish what, you know, what I needed to accomplish. And now with the Hawthorne Berry, <coughs> it'll keep me, you know, steady because it helps with the arteries and the blood pressure and the pulse. It's just a very good herb. So. Yeah, and for me, it was, um, I had like these nagging, like dull headaches, like for the first two days I think mm -hmm. and then my body was just achy yeah. and flu like feeling yeah, it's healing. yeah and then like I could feel it in my back it was just like sore mm -hmm. you know you had a lot of injuries in your back when the car yeah. accident so yeah. the body goes back remember the first time you fasted you felt that electrical current going up and I felt spine. a little bit of that so yesterday good. yesterday so that means it was going in there and continuing to heal yeah and you've had about a candidas forever. Yeah. All the milk and, and stuff that you, and sugars that you put in your body. Cheeses. Cheeses and stuff like that. Cheese so. is so bad. Did you guys know that cheese is as addicting as heroin? Yep. I mean, it's the same, like, sensory yeah. area in your body that gets activated. Yeah. There's a new way to make cheese, vegan cheese, with carrots, potato. And you boil them and you put them in the in the uh, blender, and then you add tapioca starch, and then um, if you want it to be cheddar, then you add some nutritional yeast, which gives it the color and the cheesy flavor as well. And um, what else? You know, just uh, tapioca. Tapioca starch. Yeah, that the tapioca starch. Tofu. Is, you could make cheese with tofu. You don't have to. When you do the potato and carrots, just that on its own, you could do a tofu cheese with the tapioca to make it also stringy, you make like a mozzarella type of the cheese and it's better than the diet because the diet adds oils in it. We're trying to stay away from all oils, you know, because oils are very toxic. That's the key. You want to stay away from oils, even if you're a vegan, even if it's avocado oil, even yeah. if it's what, um, the, the one that everybody likes, the olive, olive oil, oil that yeah. they say is so good for you. 
Yeah, it's not good for you at all. It's not. It, the not. extraction process of making oils changes the molecular component of that food, which becomes a toxin. Small amount of oils for treating a disease like um, oil of oregano and things of that nature is has got a therapeutic effect. But cooking with it, the way people do, or adding it as salad dressing is very toxic to the body. The body can't handle that. You want olives? Eat olives. You know, you want coconut? Eat the coconut and the coconut flakes. Um, oils are very toxin for you. You need fat. You need to get it from your avocados. You can get it from your nuts and seed. And very importantly, knowing the right ratio of <coughs> omega-3 and 6, flax seed is awesome. Chia seeds are awesome too. Good ratio of omega-3 and 6. We're gonna, oh, we forgot. We're gonna buy some B12. Oh, we forgot. We're gonna get that. That's right. But mm -hmm. I guess we'll go next time and go shopping. Next time and get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure they had it there. We'll get it next time. We'll go grocery shopping. We were gonna go get we sprouts. A lot of good sprouts too to replenish. Oh, yeah. Sunflower sprouts, yeah. alfalfa. Oh, sprouts, yeah. some of that tonight <clears throat> put in our greens and, and fruit put a little bit of the sprouts because that also creates good gut because it's food that's alive and after a fast you want all that live food to you know reinvigorate, reinvigorate the body I'm feeling better already just with that <laughs> you know that's good juice organic I mean you can see how thick yeah that's from the Pulpy. vegetable vegetable juice I have another glass of this um, along with our oranges. I mean, I'm I think just, that the probiotic really is going to help yeah. absorb things. And, and that's the thing. When you're breaking a fast, it's super important to do it right. right. And slowly. You don't want to refeed people that fast and then go and engorge themselves with really heavy foods that your system can't handle. It can't bring it down. So you make yourself very sick. You can even die. I remember one time I fasted and I... Um, broke it and celebrated supposedly by going to Applebee's and getting their Asian chicken salad. Protein, animal protein after a fast. Has peanuts in it. Peanuts could just drive you to I survived. I wasn't I wasn't in pain or anything, but still it was just dumb. Chicken in there. And peanuts. I mean well, I'm not gonna introduce fat in our diet for another four or five days. Nuts and stuff like that. It's too heavy. It's gonna get the, you got to get those, you know, because if not, then you, you're just making your digestion system very sluggish. And then, you know, you're setting up yourself up for failure. And our digestion system totally shut down. Yeah. I was like... Totally yeah, shut down. After uh, three days, you know, that's it. It stops working. And it's a much needed rest that people need to have. So what else? We're gonna go dancing New Year's Eve at the Toad. They have uh, what's it called? The Gila Monsters or Gangster or something like something. that. And a DJ, and they're gonna have you know all these little party favorites, bringing the New Year with champagne, and it'll be nice. That's another reason. Well, I don't think even if that was a reason, I would want to continue the fast. I was like, I can't lose another ounce. <laughs> I can't go any further down than one fourteen. <laughs> My body just, you know, I've, I've seen myself as low as 102 when I was a raw vegan, but I felt so strong as a raw vegan because I was feeding, you know, it's like live, food. live foods, yeah. and although I was losing weight because your body will do that to get rid of, you know, it just breaks down the fat and gets rid of the toxin, and I felt invigorated. I didn't feel weak at all at 102 pounds. When, when we were in Florida, your, your uh, stepdad said, don't bother going back down to... Don't do that again. Doing again. that yeah. raw vegan stuff. You look like shit. You look like shit. And this is a man who weighs more, you know. And he watches our videos. So and he I watches George. our videos, but he's telling us to watch our weight yeah. the other way. Yeah. But he doesn't watch his weight, you know. He's trying really hard. My mom says that. He, he got a real bad scare. And so they went here. to a, so they went to eat sushi. No, no, they eat sushi all the time. I stopped eating sushi, but they're trying. You know, he was, this is a man that just didn't like vegetables at all, and and now he's slowly, you know, 
I sure. didn't like vegetables either. You know, but we love you, George. I know you watch our videos. You know, and it's just that. You know, and I will rebuild. I mean, considering the fact that I've just lost a bunch of weight, I still have. You know, it's not all gone. It's some there. Well, it's not gone. None of it and went no. because on your fast. Because everything that my I actually put on muscle weight because I worked really hard a few weeks leading into this fast because I knew that that's what I had to do. So as I was resting, my body was building muscle. You don't build muscle in the gym. You're tearing the heck out of your muscle. You build muscle by resting and feeding it properly. That's the way it goes. My muscle went up, not a lot like yours, but it did go up incrementally. You weren't work training as hard. You went high reps, you know, because I had changed your whole workout routine. Yeah, but it still went up. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't yeah. go down. Right, which is good. No one ever wants to lose muscle because that's a kiss of death of metabolism. You need your muscle. That's what keeps your immune system strong. That's what keeps your your whole core strong. I mean, you know, muscles are good. You know, no matter if you're a woman or if you're a man, you need muscles. Without it, you're gonna get osteoporosis. You know, your immune system is gonna suffer. You're gonna feel weak and frail. I felt bad yesterday because you said something about. Gosh, we could go to uh, to the uh, rehabilitation. To the uh, hospital where you were at, or no, was it was uh, uh, yeah. assisted living. Assisted living facility where there's a lot of older people there, you know, that live there and stuff like that. And we could play Christmas songs and... They didn't have the energy. And then he also said, we could like do some, you know... Dancing a little bit, move around. Well, together. dancing, no, but that too, but... Um, you could pick out the guitar and, and sing some Christmas tunes. Sing some Christmas songs. That we didn't have the energy. I didn't have the I, I heard him say it, yeah. and I was like, okay. Hey. No comment. I figured that meant no it's tired. And I was really tired, too. And I, You know, the more you push yourself when you're fasting, the more you're going to pay for it dearly because you're gonna, it's going to wipe you out. Like, just going up the stairs with the... Great freaking groceries. I thought my heart was going to come out of my chest. I mean, I recuperated right away. I just had it for two minutes, and then I was like, okay, I'm good, which is a good sign. You know, it's just my body. You I, know. I packed that one bag with lots of stuff in it because did. it was it was all the was all the be, bottles. All, all and the three things. bags that I had are like, damn, would she have like probably distributed this a little bit better? And I'm like my ego manly self. You know, I'm like, all right, I got this. And well, I, I get up get help with one bag. Oh, I you gave me the lighter one. And then I was like, I can carry one. No. But you're my man. That's right. So. All 114 pounds on me right now. All 114. <laughs> and I haven't weighed 146 <laughs> since junior high. <laughs> I think I was like 12, yeah. 13, I don't know, it's but good. it feels good to be lighter Lighter, and maybe you could twirl me around, maybe yeah, well, I need, I need to increase my weight now because uh, I'm 14. You still can't? Not a, under We're 14. not under 12. No, 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 I got to get up to at least my 124 again. You're not going to twirl me on Saturday? Or Sunday? Um, I'll see. I'll see me. I didn't ask you to do that. Cause we, <laughs> we know what happened when I did that. In the wedding. On our wedding. You know, and fell. we were practicing. I kept, what is this pain that I keep feeling on my right side? I pulled the muscle. Or practicing, you know, our little dance move, you know. I was weighing 170 at the time. I know. So, and you were I like, like probably 120. No, then I was probably like You dropped? I wasn't ever, I never got really huge when I lived here in Silver City. I was probably like You did. You, when we first, when you first met me, you were like 140-some. Yeah, but then we got into the raw vegan. Yeah, and I lost you dropped. The and I dropped. Oh, and you I'm went like, down to 118. Yeah, yeah. So I was probably like oh. 126, and you were 170. So that's why I pulled the muscle on my, on my side when practicing And I, I, I just thought about it, and I, I thought, my head goes down where... You're hurting. Yeah. And I, I, I must was going, be. What, I wonder what, I must have pulled a muscle. What, what? And then one day I was like, oh, that's I know. It. That's what's pulling my muscle. And I almost here. dropped her during our wedding dance, our first dance. Yep. Yeah. 
I'm planning to go to Vegas for our um, anniversary, our third year anniversary. Third year. Third year. And there's a lot of vegan Three places that we've years. scoped out because, you know, we're going to eat good. We always eat good now. There's never any time we don't eat good now. We don't go out to eat anymore. But going for, our, we're probably going to go three or four days, hang out at hotels, you know, and and watch a show, and, and yeah. just scope out. There's a lot of vegan restaurants in Vegas. Really good vegan places. Yeah, we're like salivating yesterday, <laughs> just looking at the menus. Right, oh gosh, I wish Are I had some of right for now. punishment or what? It's like, oh yeah, there's a really good salad bar place. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, there's a good Asian, Chinese, mm, vegan, vegan mm. place. It's like... No, they have a Why lot of really, really good, ourselves? really good stuff, really good food. I'm excited to start making all those new recipes because you know, I uh, I want to learn how to do things like the cheeses and and there's all sorts of desserts that you can make and you know. There's always a car in the parking lot at yeah. Denny's that <laughs> the fire uh, their the alarm, alarm goes off. off. It seems like that's a common, common. thing, but you know. It's really nice to start off the new year, mm. you know, all cleaned out, ready to go. Yeah. And we can't hit the gym until... Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, yeah. So uh, That's because they're closed till Wednesday this weekend. It's like, why go Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Plus, we need to replenish before I start picking up some of those weights, you know. Although, but we'll be ready to go on Tuesday and... And like fired up, fired up. Well, many of you probably put on a couple of pounds, if not more, during the holiday season. No well, doubt, I'm we sure. We already started our new year resolution with a healthy loss weight, so we're good. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. People indulge during Christmas, you know, and they think that they're, you know, that there's, they're they're. They're basically like, it's okay, it's Christmas, you know, from Thanksgiving through the Christmas holidays. And then they step on the scale on December 31st and they're like, oh my God, what did I do? You know, and then that's like when, when we the New Year's resolutions cruise. are made. Remember when we went on the cruise, I think you gained 12 pounds on the cruise and I gained something like eight or nine. Because we ate. And eight, and eight. Yeah, she, you can take the food away from her. She almost bit my head off a couple of times when I no. said, hey, she got mad at me and everything else. But You were like, oh, I'm sick of this buffet I, food. I got up to the third day. I was like over that whole food thing. I wasn't. No. I was excited every day going to the buffet. <laughs> yeah, no, because that just makes you fat. It did, but I lost it afterwards, but still. Yeah. It's just that constant it's up and down of the weight's not good. It doesn't do good for the metabolism. Even now, I know that I dropped to 114 and I want to get up to 135. This shirt fits so, so tight. tight. Before, you were like, I can't sleep with anything. It's, yeah, it was like now really it's tight. All like yeah, it's loose, loose. Baggy. But I will regain. You I will. will regain. So 135 is my goal. A pure you muscle. shall achieve. Oh, I shall. You know me. It may take three months or yeah. so, but. And take up to six because I want to do pure muscle. I don't want to gain any fat. So I want to make sure that the body's putting on. It'll do it slowly, but I'll get to that 135 mark healthily because that's the key. You don't want to send your body into these like crazy, you know. I can give you some of mine and then. No, because you need yours. No. Oh. Because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get osteoporosis. You don't want to get fat production because when you decrease muscle, your body puts on fat because your metabolism gets all messed up. Muscle is important, again, both male and female. I need a lot. Male and female both need muscles. You know, as all ladies out there, whether you're trans women or cis women, please understand that the only way you're going to achieve a healthy lifestyle and look good in tone, look good without your clothes on, because that's the important key. People lose weight, but God, don't yeah. take their clothes off. They look like, because it's all dangling skin. Which, by the way, I had. <laughs> this one, I was looking at my stomach. It's gone. And it was like, Meep. so I need to like, you know. But you need your muscles. Muscle is the most important tissue that you have in your body, you know. And if you don't have it, then 
your metabolism, <coughs> your metabolism doesn't doesn't shuts work. down. Yeah, especially as we age, because we lose muscle mass after the age of 30, 35 very rapidly. So if you're not doing anything to put on muscle or to at least maintain your muscle mass, you're going to find yourself sick, frail, full of lab. And it's not good. And there's a window of time where you can do these things because as you get older, it gets harder. So if you start building that foundation at a younger age, then you can preserve yourself as you age, yeah. you know, and just basically build on what you built in the past. Because right. if you don't, then in the words of that one guy who was at the gym with us just the other day, and he was like, he was like um, saying something like, yeah, well, it's too late now, you know. Um, yeah, he's all flab, you notice that. Yeah. All flab. When you lose muscle, that's what happens. You, know, you develop this little, I don't have it because I still have muscle, even though I did a five-day. That Bugs Bunny thing? Yeah, that little, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that my muscles were preserved because I've done everything right. I mean, I've been at this fitness, diet, workout thing, gosh, since 1998. It's a long time, you know, long time, so I know my stuff. He does know his stuff, and if anybody out there wants any consulting, yeah. you know, this guy can do great work. I mean, just ask a guy named Roberto Santiago about Mark Angelo Cummings and his ability to change bodies. Yeah. Just ask Lena Ariel Cummings. Yeah. I mean, That's what I, do. I weighed 192, I believe, yeah. back in t uh, January of 2015. Yeah. After the accident, I yeah. put on weight because I was sitting in bed, yeah. and it Unless was the you, winter time, you messed up and I stopped running. Yeah, you messed up your metabolism by just running, you know. And as soon as you stop running, yeah. you know, your metabolism... Your body fat goes up, you've lost a lot of muscle during running, and that's the key, preservation of muscle and building muscle. And yeah. so as soon as I got you, you know, even though you were in a very debilitated state with just having the accident and everything else, slowly, little by little, you know, we got yep. you where you are. And I put on weight, um, well, I mean, I lost weight after going on my first water fast. Water fasts are the key. You know, you got to really, you know, and cutting out animal products is really key, too. Um, I know that people, paleo people, will say, you know, that, you know, they may look good on the outside, but on the inside, it's like, you know, you go to the grocery store and you buy the meat that's really lean. It doesn't have any fat in it, but when you buy the cheaper meat, it's all marbled with fat. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what happens with paleo people. You want to put because, on quality muscle. you know, they, they get the muscle, sure. But, you know, they also get atherosclerosis. You know. and all sorts of stuff. People don't realize you're eating the middleman. The only nutrient you're getting from that meat is from what the cow eats. And the cow eats a lot of greens, the grass and, and things that she's able to convert into the proper nitrogen and the proper amino acids. You know, people have a false belief that plants don't have amino acid. That's a lie. They do have a lot of protein, that good quality protein, protein that your cells can use. So, you know, there's a lot of healthy vegan bodybuilders out there, and you could really build good muscle. I mean, I was on my way to doing that before I yeah. decided to fast. I mean, I was like really, you know, climbing up. I think I got to 128. You know, yeah, and um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. I, I guess want, that's I want it. more juice and I want an orange. I want my orange. <laughs> I guess I've so, been dreaming about it. It's huge, juicy orange. We'll start to show up sometime <clears throat> in January, you know, and um, I don't know if we're gonna keep it the same name. No, we're thinking we about might change changing it. it. We might. Because we're going to be basically <clears throat> talking a lot about health issues, you know, and just really keeping it positive. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm tired of waving the advocacy flag for or against. 
you know, and I know we've done this before and gone up and down and whatever else, but there's a lot of negativity involved when you're an advocate. And I've been an advocate for and against since 2003 and actually started in 2004. And um, I think I'm going to just give my flag to somebody else to take over. You know, we will talk about health and health things, you know, doing things the natural route. You know, what's good to keep your body in balance and things of that nature and keep up to date with new health um, information. And, and positive stories and things yeah. that will help you and benefit you instead of things that will get you angry or frustrated or upset, you yeah. know, because that's what was happening to us. Yeah. We were getting very angry, very upset. And it was, you know, it was just, <clears throat> it was taking a toll on our health, our relationship. And, you know, we... On your blood pressure. Yeah. You know, it's like, I am who I am. I'll always be who I am. I try to be something I was not to try to please families. You know, my family, your family. And in the end, in the long run, I wasn't happy. You know, I wasn't happy. And I didn't get to enjoy you as the beautiful woman that you are. Because I was like, okay, well, I can't, I can't condone this. I've got to condone the other and you know you yourself went through whatever and it's just you know i'm just glad we're over that hump and we're on to bigger and better things let's just say yeah 2018 is going to be rocking year an amazing year Definitely. i'm so looking forward to it i'm so looking tattoos piercings yeah. are in the works and you know cute so little nose ring Right there. The one right here. I've always wanted one in front of my eye and the one in my nose. And of course, you can put some more on the ears. Yeah. You know, little cute little, you know how they have those little loops? Yeah. Yeah, you know, little by little, as the budget allows. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's just living life in a good, you know, natural and loving light. We are Mark and Lena Cummings, that's right. and that's who will always be. Yeah. So anybody who has any reservations about that, sorry. There's nothing we could do about it. Um, but we just ask for you to honor our choices right. and to um, be kind, you know? I mean, a name's a name. Right, it's legally changed, you know? We have our... Uh, passports, our birth certificates, our marriage certificate, yeah. all under the name of Mark Andrew <coughs> Cummings and Lynn Ariel Cummings, you know, and it's like, we went through so much to make it this way, that it's just, it's not going to happen, you know. And we're not harming anyone by being who we are, we're all natural, we don't take any synthetic hormones, and we don't promote anyone taking synthetic hormones because it's going to hurt your health. But it's your choice, you know. It is your choice. We're not gonna, we're not gonna preach to people and tell them what they should do and what they should not do. We're just gonna lead our lives by example and show how healthy and and how well we are doing with the natural approach. Because I think that a lot of times that is lost in the mix. I mean, we obviously know that there's a better way than putting drugs in our bodies. Of course. And that goes for anything, you know, I mean, aspirin. Anything. Ibuprofen, I mean, you name it. Anything. All drugs have side effects. So. Because the pharmaceutical companies can't make money. They're not allowed to <clears throat> patent anything that's natural. The herbs, they can't patent because it's natural. It's naturally occurring. So there's some sort of law or something that they cannot patent something that already exists in nature. They have to synthetically produce it, you know, and, and create their own take on this herb or product so that they're able to patent it and sell it as such. And you notice every commercial. Yeah, every commercial, you guys, if you watch TV, you know, it pops up all the time. Yeah, side effects, left, right, and center. So the way to go is natural. And that's for anything, yeah, you know. Exactly. So, that's it, folks. We're going to... That's it. Drink some orange juice and orange. So um, we love you. 
But remember to always love yourselves too. Happy New Year.